Hey folks, um, I recently picked up the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Um, it became available a few weeks ago, and I was I was one of those people that refresh refreshed the web page for two hours until I was able to finally get my order in. But it showed up um, showed up a few weeks ago, and I've been using it as my regular phone for the last couple of weeks. I got it to replace my Pixel 3 XL, which I'm actually shooting this on right now. I I like the Pixel 3 XL a lot. It takes great takes great pictures, has decent video. It I actually really just didn't even want to replace it, but um, the end of this year, Google is discontinuing security and regular updates for it. So I kind of I mean, they kind of leave you no choice which sucks because I had no problem with this phone. It, um, it does everything I need it to do. And, um, you know, now it's just going to be just an alternative phone to use as a second camera and possibly, you know, a monitor. If I buy Filmic Pro for the Pixel 6 Pro that I can use it as a video monitor so I don't have to, uh, take, you know, use the selfie cam. I can use this as a, as a video monitor. But, I mean, it'd be nice if there was some sort of alternative OS you could switch to that you could just keep using the phone for a few more years that got security updates. But, you know, I guess I'm just ranting on about that. It just seems like a waste of a phone. I mean, this phone is perfectly fine. I've been um, doing a lot of, like, YouTube videos lately, you know, music videos for you know, for my music and my band and stuff. And I've actually been looking around at cameras that I could use and, you know, looking at maybe some of the prosumer ones. And, um, after looking around for a while, I decided that maybe, maybe it would be best just to buy a higher end phone that, uh, you know, that had better cameras and had maybe had some more options to it. And, uh, that's how I ended up going with the Pixel 6 Pro and, and plus Google is offering five years of security updates and updates for this phone which is another reason why I got it so I don't have to worry about getting another phone for five years I mean maybe maybe by then I'd be ready to maybe look up look to upgrade again but <clears throat> when looking at the Pixel 6 Pro I came across this company called Moment that makes camera accessories for iPhones and certain things and I ended up getting the moment case for the Pixel 6 Pro and I've actually never really used cases for my phones I've always just gone bareback with my phone because they've always I've never dropped them they've always been fine but these moment cases have several things to them which make them pretty cool like for one you can see with the around the lenses the camera the camera lenses they have they have slots and notches here so you can add lenses to the cameras like pro lenses to give you different different effects um just like a regular camera you can see down here i actually ordered the moment fisheye lens because i i do you know music videos and like videos where I'm talking and, and different things like that where a fisheye lens would is actually good, makes a cool effect. So I figured maybe that would be a good one, a good one to start with. Um, so, <clears throat> and another cool thing about this moment case is it actually has something called M force. So it's like a magnet, just like the, um, just like the iPhones have. This case has a built in magnet so you can use magnetic charging, but one of the great things that I got for it is this, and it's actually a magnetic holder, like a tripod holder for the phone, so you can just stick the phone to this magnet instead of having to use one of those clips, like phone clips, which I really don't like because they you have to avoid the buttons on the phone and it's just horrible if the clip ends up hitting a button and it can turn your phone off or do all kinds of weird things to the phone while you're trying to film. <clears throat> so now I'll show you um, how the phone actually hooks to this 
to the stand. The phone, it's it has a very specific spot on the case where it sticks to the phone, so you can't just, you know, do it anywhere. It has to be, it's like right around there that it sticks to the phone, and it actually, I mean, it's on there pretty good. So that's, that's really nice. You can use it in landscape and portrait, so it's really nice. Um, and then also it, it, it comes off pretty easily as well, but it just goes boop, just sticks right on there just like that. Okay, so now I'm actually shooting from the Pixel 6 Pro on the magnetic, uh, on the magnetic stand. Um, is the sound any clearer? Does, does the video look any better, any different? I guess I'll guess I'll see when I drop it into my editor but so this is um, this is just the standard you know default video of the pixel 6 um, without changing any settings no fancy 4k or anything like that um, let's see look at a few things um, this is I've started crafting recently so Here's one of the things I've been working on. That'll be another video, uh, probably the next video. Um, but yeah, here's the regular Pixel 6 video here. You look at some fish. Look at a few things. Go over here. Now let's Let's see if I can get this. I may have to put this down to put the fisheye lens on. Hold on a second. Let's see. Yeah, actually, let me put this let me put this down to put the fisheye lens on. Don't want to don't want to break anything. Okay, so here it is with the fisheye lens on, and you can see things get a little curvy looking. It looks, I think it gives it a pretty, gives it a pretty cool effect. Kind of gives that, kind of gives that bulbous effect. Oh, there's my cat Artie, aka the chicken. Hey buddy, what's going on? But yeah, I really like these. I really like this lens. It gives a pretty cool effect. Um, let's look at the fish with the fish eye. Hey guys, we're seeing from your point of view. It looks especially cool on a curved object like that. It really, it really makes it look extreme. I like that. So, but yep, but that's it. So, um, I may, I, I really like this lens. I may end up buying maybe one of their filters, um, for outside shooting. Um, but we'll see sometime in the future. Thanks for watching.